Good morning, fellow option traders. Welcome to the Daily Scan for Monday, April 28th, 2014. I didn't do a video Friday because we Thursday night had unexpected company and uh, it was uh, almost impossible to make a video for Friday morning, so I apologize for that. But uh, as we'll find out shortly, when I recap last week, last week was a pretty good week. Can't complain about it. So for today, we have uh, pending home sales at 10 and the Dallas Fed Manufacturing Survey at 1030. Looking across the ponds over in Asia, we were, uh, or actually they were, red across the board and pretty solidly too in most cases. However, in Europe, we are bullish across the board and it's green all the way. Okay, let's take a look at the U.S. futures. We're looking at 65 and 6.75 and 13 and 5.4, all uh, pretty close to a half a percent between a quarter of a percent and a half percent up this morning. So probably we're going to have a positive day compared to what we had on Friday. <laughs> uh, gold is up above 1300 so that's a good sign for my uh, covered call position here although the um, actual call is way up here and this is the day that I sold it and I think we got I don't know like 30 cents or something like that for it we continue to collect a premium on that particular position it's not uh, anything to sneeze about but it is uh, pulling in some money every other month or so so that's good and that's only that's just a hundred shares you know if I had a thousand shares it would be a different story but I just have a hundred shares in a small account and we're writing some covered calls on it so if you're that kind of trader you may want to take a look at interactive brokers versus thinkorswim because uh, the thinkorswim well the platform anyway is kind of overkill for that kind of investing i think back when i was doing just covered calls that's what that was my broker of choice at that time and the reason being is um actually if i remember right and i don't know if this is still true or not but they're per option contract price is um, a little bit better than what you get at TD Ameritrade or think on the Thinkorswim platform. However, their platform and their customer service um, used to be questionable, but I think that they've made a lot of improvements in both since then. And uh, it might, you know, it's not as visual as this platform is, but it is very functional and very powerful, especially for um, commercial traders as opposed to the little individual people like myself. But enough advertisements for brokers let's take a look and see uh, what happened last week okay we're still in uh, we have a vertical in gold and in TLT which we'll take a peek at when we do the A plus list and then there's this covered call down here and then there's these other two other accounts down here that we never look at those are other OPs as I call them other people's accounts and um, let's see here. I wanted to take a look at last week. I have it up here, right here. Okay, so I, I also did some totals here for the year, but this is last week. LinkedIn, uh, we did it again with LinkedIn. Went back to um, another dip in the pool and it was successful. This is Amazon where actually it would have been uh, successful if I would have waited on it but I got my I'll show you on the chart but 
I got the indicator to uh, close it out so I did and this is Netflix which expired so totally out of the money it even surprised me on Friday and we'll take a look at that one on the chart too so for April we had 11 winners and 3 losers and year to date we have 26 winners and 19 losers and here we are at $2,000 gain for the small risk that I take on a lot of these trades so um, I'm doing okay I can't complain about it all right let's jump right over to the A plus list and I think I'll go back to um, the chart now yeah, I'll go to analyze and start out with Apple and these were uh, some of the um, earnings plays that I was looking at for Apple and none of them really did work that well I was going to cover them on Friday but because I had company I was not able to do it so well pretty much unless you just pick a direction you um, earnings is really just a crapshoot okay uh, we have nothing open on Apple right now I need to get to my chart here there we go so we're just waiting to see what's going to happen Friday was a bad day for the market but it was a pretty good day for Apple and if you want to take a look at really what the market did I'm right clicking here and we'll go to um, style and then we'll say load style no we study sorry my mistake uh, load st let's see add study there we go to refresh my memory here and then do a compare with and let's compare it with you can't see it down here but I'm picking the SPX or the S&P 500 and it appears on the chart so here's what um, Friday looked like it was a pretty much a down day and Apple just went ahead and did what it felt like doing I'm not sure here um, yeah I'm just gonna take it off of there I was looking to see if I could quickly convert it to a candle chart but I'm not gonna worry about it for right now whether you can or not I guess it's not in the grand scheme of things it's not important but anyway um, had a good day here for Apple so we're still waiting to see exactly what's going to happen with the moving average here on Apple Amazon um, like it, I deleted it but uh, we were in here about this right around here I think we we're in it let's take a look and see here I don't know if I don't put the amount on here no, I do. 322 and a half. So we were at 322 and a half right around here with our um, air call. And on Thursday, I got the green and green, which told me to exit. So I exited it. And then Friday, it goes and collapses. So we're waiting for. A move down here in the stochastic and then to come back up we need it to come down to this line approximately or better yet the 20 so I'll we'll just wait for that one to mature a little bit and let us know which way it's going to be going we have Boeing which looked like it was in a new uptrend but now we're not really sure so we're staying away from that one post earnings Baidu also post earnings which I think they had pretty good yeah but the market didn't seem to care just kind of shrugged it off and uh, not paying much attention to it in a way that's pretty telling but today well, we'll get a little bit of a gap up possibly but it's not really that much of a gap. 
for this particular stock. Celgene, we we're looking at a calendar there too. Uh, they didn't do much on their earnings either, and they beat, but we don't know what their guidance was or why it's behaving in this particular manner. So we are now on the third day, so we have to take a pass on this. Now we're waiting for, again, a move down here on a, uh, on a bearish trend. We need to move down to this level on the stochastic and then back up into the 80 area to give us our hook. Chipotle. We have a target set here, so maybe we'll be moving into that target area. Costco. Uh, looks like it may be in the midst of a trend reversal. Don't know yet. Need it to develop a little bit longer. Chevron uh, moving down in here. We we'll slide our target over to there. We have earnings coming up the end of this week, though. I'm a little hesitant there. Let's take a look at the Dow. Uh, this is sort of, and they're talking about this possibly being a head and shoulders, shoulder, head, shoulder. At least that's what uh, uh, Tommy Sosnoff said this morning on his email. But, oh, back to, is there a play? Yes, we are coming down in here to our target area. Looking at the futures, we're going to get a hook here. And we may just jump on this. Uh, and I would, with these, the DIA, um, spiders, and the Qs, and IWM, I wouldn't do a this Friday I would do the following Friday give it a little bit of time because I would want to do you know like a 20 Delta on this so it may be setting up for that next up is Igor oh wow it did not have a very good day Friday at all we have earnings next Monday but we still have time for a play this week. So this is a setup. And we can't tell from uh, off hours trading whether or not it might give us a hook today. All right, FedEx. We have a setup on FedEx if we are bullish. This would be a bull put. All right, moving right along. F5 networks. Um, not liking this. Too close to earnings, even though we are in our target area. You could call this a setup. I don't like this downtrend. That's sort of telling us to stay away, so I'm taking that target area off of there. Gold. Okay, we currently have a uh, bull put on this. Um, looking at where gold is this morning on the futures, we're probably going to open up on this. So that's good. We like that. Google. Uh, all right. We are in a pretty heavy downtrend here on Google. So we're still waiting for it to come up to our target area. IWM. All right, we're sort of in a, I don't know. Not sure exactly which direction this thing is going. The futures on the Rus Russell though are up a tad, so this me this is kind of looking like a setup here but you know we really are in a downtrend I'm taking this off 
if you look at this we are getting lower highs and lower lows so we're definitely in a downtrend so I'm holding off on that for the next wave to see what happens LinkedIn okay we have we were successful this one uh, actually got out the next day so we were successful with all of these it's going to delete all drawings on here and throw a target up here even though we have earnings coming up this week we'll still take a look at it and see what happens 3M might be able to get squeeze one in before earnings sometimes you never know 3M we have a Hmm. <laughs> they, they, well, they missed by one hundredth of a percent. Wow, oh, that's pretty small. Or a penny, I should say. Uh, They missed, they missed by a tenth of a penny. I don't know here. You know, and if I have to sit here and think about it, it's probably not a good idea. So I'm going to take that off. Make sure we don't have any other drawings on here. Netflix. They had a good earnings, and we are in a new downtrend. We pulled this money out of this, so we're going to delete everything and wait for the next opportunity. Actually, our new target would be here. Okay, price line. How are we doing, William? Captain Kirk. Um... I would call this a downtrend. So let's pop that up there. This is new here. I don't remember seeing this last week. Price line is usually one of the last ones for earnings. So that's, uh, I don't believe that was there last week. And now we know. One, two, three months. Okay. Yep. We have earnings coming up. But we still have time to squeeze in a trade there. Let's take a look at the queues. Um, we're definitely in a downtrend on the queues. You know, today might be a good day to do a 20 delta, um, a bear call. And the reason why I say that is it looks like we're going to open up today, up uh, probably around here or so. So we can get a sharp move up here. And uh, if we really think that this is in a downtrend, then that would be the place to do a 20 delta. So as opposed to DIA, the Qs, we would do a trade in the opposite direction. All right. Um, spiders. really say exactly the same thing on them uh, we may get a hook here so that may be a 20 delta and that would be a bull put on that one TLT we're already in Do we want to add to our position not at this time let's take these off of here And then we may want, we can most definitely add to it if we get a move down here. No reason why not. Uh, Tesla, what's going on with Mr. Electric? We have earnings coming up next week. Uh, looks like they're going to open up a tad today, so we're probably going to get a hook here. And this is a setup. 
Feeling a little shaky about this one just because we're below the uh, 50 SMA. But I've seen these move, just slam right through there and just take off. So we are going to open up a little bit this morning. So this is probably going to give us an entry later today. All right, Union Pacific. Yeah, this is a setup. And last, but certainly not least, is Visa. So I've been reading some stuff about how they're, I guess you could say, in trouble. Not sure exactly what that means, but definitely the market agrees. So what do we have here? We have a little thing over here because we did come down and we did touch this line. So now we need a good solid green to give us an entry. All right, that's it for today. Uh, one last thing. There is, there was over the weekend a new release of the Thinkorswim platform. I think they call it Think Desktop technically anyway. Um, there was a new release and there's some new features in there and I read about them and none of them really turned me on I guess you might say so I didn't even try them out or play with them or anything for my purposes for my trading what we have right here is just fine so alright that's that just a couple words about that so everybody have a great day thank you very much for watching and happy trading.